Gout is marked by transient attacks of acute arthritis initiated by crystallization of monosodium urate within and around the joints. Gout occurs mainly in males than in females and its other risk factors are obesity, hypertension, diabetes, dyslipidemia and the major risk factor is hyperuricemia that is uric acid level above 6.8 mg per deciliter. Now before moving on to how hyperuricemia causes gout, let's learn what are the causes of hyperuricemia. They can be divided into two classes, those that increase the production of uric acid and others that decrease the excretion. Under increased production, we have massive intake of seafoods and red meat. Less Nyhand syndrome where there is deficiency of hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme, excess phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate, cell lysis due to chemotherapy, von Gehrke disease and psoriasis. Now those that reduce the excretion are lead toxicity causes what's known as saturnine gout, renal failure, lactic acidosis, alcohol especially beer and drugs such as thiazides and loop diuretics. Now let's look at the pathogenesis of acute gouty arthritis. Hyperuricemia leads to precipitation of urate crystals in joints. These crystals are phagocytosed by the macrophages of the joints. The macrophages then produce interleukin 1-beta that recreates more inflammatory cells, predominantly neutrophils. The urate crystals in the joint can also activate the complement system leading to the generation of chemotactic complement products. The neutrophils will also phagocytose the urate crystals and produce destructive free radicals, proteases and prostaglandins. These will destroy the joint tissues and enhance inflammation ultimately leading to gout. The neutrophils will get lysed due to the solid sharp ases of the crystals and release lysosomal enzymes that will do further damage to the joints. So this is the pathogenesis of acute gouty arthritis. Let's move on to the clinical features of gout. The classical presentation of gout is with an acute monoarthritis which affects the first metatarsophalangeal joint in over 50% of the cases called podagra. They receive a pain often described as worst pain ever. Extreme tenderness such as the patient is unable to wear a sock or to let bedding rest on the joint. Joint is swollen, red and painful. Tophus are white colored nodules that are produced by the deposition of urate crystals in the joints and is also often seen in external ear, achilles tendon and olecranon bursa. On investigation, diagnosis can be confirmed by identification of urate crystals in the aspirate from a joint. Crystals are needle shaped and birefringent under polarized light. They appear yellow under parallel light and blue under perpendicular light. Remember both yellow and parallel have consecutive L so it will be easier to remember that way. ESR and CRP also elevates along with neutrophils. Now let's move on to the management. For acute gout, NSAIDs, indomethacin, glucocorticoids and colchicin can be used. And for chronic gout, urate lowering therapy is given which consists of uric acid synthesis inhibitors such as allopurinol and fevuxostat and uricosurics such as provenicid and sulfenpyrazone.